Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to study volatile granule staining by Albert's method. Volatile granules are also known as polyphosphate granules, metachromatic granules, or Babe's Ernst granules. They were first discovered in spirulum volutans, hence named as volatile granules. They are formed by almost all prokaryotes, including bacteria, algae, and fungi. These granules are composed of polyphosphates. They act as intracellular phosphate reserves. They are strongly basophilic in nature. They show metachromatic effect. That is, when they are stained with blue colored dye, they appear as red or brown. These granules can be stained by Albert's method. Procedure: Take a clean, grease-free slide. Prepare smear on a slide. Air dry, but do not heat fix. Flood the smear with Albert's stain. Allow it to react with smear for 3 to 5 minutes. Discard the excess stain, but do not wash the slide. Flood the smear with Albert's iodine. Allow it to react with smear for 2 minutes. Gently wash the slide with water. Air dry the slide and observe the slide under oil immersion lens. Mechanism Albert's stain is made up of two acidic stains, namely toluidine blue O and malachite green. The pH of Albert's stain is adjusted to 2.8 by using acetic acid. Cytoplasm of cell has neutral pH, so the pH of Albert's stain is acidic for cytoplasm, whereas pH of Albert's stain is basic for volatile granules, as pH of volatile granules is highly acidic. When applied to smear, toluidine blue -O stains volatile granules because they are highly acidic, malachite green stains cytoplasm blue green in color. Albert's iodine inhibits metachromatic property of granules, therefore granules appear blue-black in color. Observation Under oil immersion lens, we can observe bluish-black granules in light green colored cytoplasm. Applications To observe presence of volatile granules in bacteria, in laboratory diagnosis of diphtheria, volatile granule staining helps in identification of bacteria. Thank you.